Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Happy New Year. I hope yours was just as wonderful as mine was. I'm still, ah, still tasting rum. Now, if you've watched my last video, you know I will be moving house very soon, so I kind of didn't know when I'd be doing my first video of 2024, but um, yeah, it's this one. This video came from something that I'm really getting sick and tired of, which is people thinking that audiences are new in cinema. If you like animation movies just as much as I do, please make sure to smash that like button on this video and subscribe for more great content on all animated videos. Let's get down to the video, shall we? So something that made me feel almost worried about not just animated films, but films in general, is a quote from the director of the new Chicken Run film saying, we always thought we wanted to make a new movie for a new audience, for new times. So I'm seeing this sort of answer pop up a lot in companies and directors, and even more when it comes to Disney with their live action remakes. It's a film for a new audience, a new generation, and I don't really know what that means. And with a Chicken Run sequel coming out years later and being quite disappointing, Disney's 100 year anniversary film Wish is probably one of their worst movies to date and companies are always making movies for what they think audiences want. But in terms of animation, the fundamentality of filmmaking hasn't changed, or at least, it shouldn't. Any good film always should have the same thing, good characters and good story. Doubtless of how I feel about the animation of Wish, if the film had a better story and more interesting characters, it wouldn't matter as much. And while of course modern day cinema has changed incredibly over the years, the only thing that has really changed is the technology we use. The same goes for animation. Now the audience will be the judge of what preference they prefer, whether they prefer 2D animation to 3D, black and white to color, or filming with CGI or practical effects. But story and characters are what matter, and I don't think age of different generations make any difference. My favourite Disney movies are Jungle Book and Robin Hood, two films that are way before my time, and I did not grow up with them, only discovering them much later. So I don't personally believe younger audiences can't be entertained by older movies. My three-year-old nephew's favourite film is Cars, which is nearly 20 years old which at least for animation shows how timeless animation is. But like Disney remakes, their reason for making it is always making it for a new generation when you simply don't need to. What do these newer films do that the older ones don't? And while sure the technology has changed, the story is still the same. Even if they are moderately successful, they become pointless because the older ones are still easily accessible and enjoyable to watch. I for one am sick of hearing film companies say they made a film for a new audience, when they don't realise audiences haven't changed at all. We all go to the movies for the same reason, and films have only changed in the technology they use. We look at films like Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Puss in Boots The Last Wish, two of the best animated films that were made last year. And while sure the animation is very fresh and new, the storytelling and characters are what make those films brilliant. I for one love the animation of the new Chicken Run film, but it was the story and the way they treat their characters which made it not as strong as others. We look back on how Pixar started when making Toy Story all those years ago, and one of the reasons their films became so popular in the first place was because they made a film that could be enjoyed by all ages. And while Pixar have had some films that are not as successful as others, I I don't think they've ever made a film just for younger, newer generations. The fact that their latest films like Lightyear, a film that is based on one of their oldest characters and heavily influenced by older sci-fi movies, and even the newest film Elemental, which was heavily inspired by rom-coms of the 2000s, shows that they definitely do not make films for newer generations and younger audiences. A comment actually made on my Chicken Run 2 review was that the film didn't have the British Nick Park style of humour that Aardman films are known for, so by saying your movie is for a new audience shows that you don't remember what made you special in the first place. And while sure, it's nice to venture out with different styles just as Disney did, as they are known for their Disney princess female lead films, they have branched out of that formula several times, but not to tell a story for a new audience, but to tell a story that needs telling. If a story is good and a character is interesting, then 
that's what matters. I'm hoping in the future companies will realize that audiences haven't changed, and the best movies haven't either. Age and generations don't go with specific types of films, and it never will. I for one very much enjoy lots of older films, and of course I know people who are older than me that enjoy newer films. So thank you so much for joining me in this video, if you liked it make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more great content on all animated movies. I have been the Average Critic and I will see you all in the next one.